What broke? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've seen our stuff, you'll know I'm an inventor, right? And this is one of my inventions. This is the firewall that we glue in and then we pre-stud, right? That way we can make them super, super straight and look epic in the cars. However, lots of people are reaching out saying, you can't glue in those panels. It's not that strong. It's never gonna last. You gotta weld it in. So you know what I did? I made some crazy test materials, right? We're gonna do an invention like a Mythbusters. So this is actually the 18 gauge material glued together. Then I've got some plug welds and stuff that we put together, put it on a strain gauge and put it in the engine hoist and figured out exactly which is stronger. Is it a plug weld? Is it many plug welds? Is it the glue? It's gonna be fun this week as we go through that because I think you're gonna discover some new cool things about how to build the stuff. Heck, I'm even thinking about using it to put on quarter panels and floors. You never know. Anyways, at the end of each episode, I always do a Bible study because a Bible study actually changed my life. And I think when you guys actually see how well this works and the tests come out, it might change your whole opinion on it too. All right, kids, what you're looking at here is the beginning of the test. What you're looking at in my hands is an 18 gauge material, which is the same thickness that's typically on most of the skins of these old cars on what they use. So when you actually repair an old car, whether it's a floor or a quarter, you'll use what's called a plug weld. I wanna teach you what a plug weld is real quick because we're gonna test how strong plug welds are in the body environment versus like what we do when we actually glue in these whole firewalls, right? So. There's a hole in here, kids, right? And that's about a quarter inch, a little bit over a quarter inch, just like we would do when we're repairing a car. And then you just got a piece of flat stock. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this over by where the welder's at, and I'm gonna show you exactly what a plug weld is, right? I've already prepped up some of the other pieces for you, but I thought it was important that you saw what a plug weld actually really is. All right, same gauge material, just like the car. Let's go weld it. All right, kids, let's get to making this plug weld. We'll just clamp those together. Set it up in here. Let's go up and fire up the welder right there and we'll throw that weld on it. These are what the completed product looks like for the test. You can see this has one plug weld and this one actually has two plug welds. So that way we can test it with a strain gauge. We're gonna hook it up to the hoist and pull on it. Space Age Polymer Bonder. Crazy glue, you dirty rat. Strong enough to hold this man suspended in midair. Right, Ma? Mm. You want to be generous with this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. We are going to find out exactly what this panel bond is all about. Get it all over the place. There you go. There you go. Get a good surface. Make sure it's everywhere. Ah, oh, look at that. Woohoo! Oh. Okay, I don't think I'm going to overclamp this. I think I'm just going to kind of let it sit and let it be what it's going to be. I don't want to squish it out. Right? We're gonna see how strong that material is. So what do you think is gonna win? Is it gonna be the single plug weld, the double plug weld, or one of these two here? All right, kids, let this dry overnight, and we're gonna find out tomorrow. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the single plug weld first. You know, we'll put this on here, get that started. If I can figure out how to get it on there, set this to zero. We'll go ahead and lay this out, right? Kyle, go ahead and put some stress on it. We're at 100, slow down, killer. You're at 250 pounds. We're watching right here. Go ahead, keep going. All right, 300, slow, Kyle. Slow, Kyle. 400 pounds, four, 500 pounds, slower. 600, stop. 660 pounds. Well, that was a little bit of a surprise. One plug weld, 660 pounds, and it still didn't break it. I thought for sure that would rip it apart. All right, I got an 1100 pounder. Let's hook that one up. We have to go to a bigger gauge. This is the crane scale. This thing actually goes to 1100 pounds. All right, let's stop pulling on it. Go ahead, Kyle. You got four, 500, you got 690, 700. Keep going, Kyle. Whoa! Whoa! That was... Awesome. All right, guys, check it out. That was a darn good plug weld and it ripped the perimeter of the circle right off. Now, let's try the two up. I don't even know if that one's gonna break at all. What did we say that one, 780? Ooh. Two plug welds with the beefier one. All right, 500, 
750. This is where the other one broke. Don't look at it, Kyle. Thousand pounds. Hold it there for a second. What did I guess? 1100? I'm definitely not wrong yet. A little more. Error. That's all she's got. This is uneventful. I'll tell you what, we know how to do some plug welding. Now think about that. You could literally lift up a two big blocks. Yeah, two big blocks. Just with that. Would you try it at home? I wouldn't. All right, we're gonna put the big old strain gauge now on the panel bond. Let's see where that breaks. 3M, I hope you're watching. All right, guys, we have no idea what's actually gonna happen with just the panel bond, the structural adhesive. Is it really structural or is it just a marketing gimmick? Go ahead, Kyle. 450. All right, it's only got a little bit more to pass the single one, right? 500 pounds, 540. Nothing's moving. Okay, keep going real slow. 850. Oh, is it gonna break? It has now surpassed. The single plug weld for sure. All right, 950, 1100, it's going. Air, 1100 pounds, now it is maxed out. The structural adhesive is actually holding at 1125 pounds. Now what are we gonna do? Let's break them. We don't have a strain gauge that'll go over 1100 pounds, but we can still figure out which one is stronger. Come on, let's be smart. Let's think about this for a second. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hook this one up to the bottom of the glued one and just pull it and see which one breaks first. We don't know the number, but we're gonna definitely know what's stronger. The panel bond version, the old double plug weld, right? I'm gonna crank it. You guys stand back. I want anybody getting hurt, stand back. All right, this will be kind of fun. All right, what's gonna break for it? Do you think anything can fly off? This could hurt. Oh, there is a lot of stress. Ugh. Dude, is the bar bending? All right, the hoist can make at least 4,000 pounds of lift. You see that mark right in my hand? That's for me pushing on it, and I was feeling a little nervous being that close, I gotta tell you, so I'm gonna put a safety chain on it. My insurance company's probably like watching me going, mm, that good, this is guy is an idiot. All right, back to cranking. I guarantee you that was over 2,000 pounds of stress. There's no doubt, I guarantee it. We got our safety chain on it. I was getting a little nervous, not gonna lie. Chain. What broke? Safety chain employed. Check it out! Yes, baby! The panel bond, look at that! Still holding, and <laughs> that thing ripped apart. That's crazy, I knew it! That's why my firewalls are so darn good. Oh, dude, I love it when a plan comes together. The best part of each episode is always the Bible study. Dang, was that fun, that was loud. All right, let's get to the Bible study, which is definitely the best part. That's fun stuff. All right, guys, best part of the episode is always the Bible study. We're in 1 Corinthians 3, and uh, we're in a time when Paul is writing to the, the Corinthians, the church Corinthians, or the people that are struggling. Like, uh, you know, they're starting to, like, worship Paul and worship Apollos, and they're thinking that the men are the reason, like, things are fixed or saved or people are getting healed. So it's a kind of a screwy environment, and Paul's trying to set them straight. And like, no, dude, you just don't get it, right? So um, before we read, it's always a good idea to ask God to help you, right? Ask the Holy Spirit. Lord, let the Holy Spirit just guide me through this verse that I may read it and share it with people, and um, they will come to know you closer and better. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Simple stuff, right? Okay, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, and I'm at 5, right? So what, after all, is Apollos, and what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord has assigned to each one his task. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is really anything, but only God who makes everything grow. The man who plants and the man who waters have one purpose, and each will receive a, a reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow co-workers, and we are God's field, God's building. So I love that. Think about it. God's got, I always say God's got a plan for you. Paul in that day is saying, dude, we are just are part of the group. God's got a plan and we're just gonna do our thing. You can do your thing. If you need a Bible, seriously, reach out to me. I'd be happy to send it to you. Go to studiohotrods.com. There's a link on there that says I need a Bible. When those come through, I see them on my cell phone and I always smile because, dude, if you really want a Bible, I am so happy to send it to you for free. Anyways. I love it. I love sharing the Word of God with you guys. And I really do believe that God's got a plan for you. Jesus died on that cross 
for a reason. He died for you, to save you from... There's a lot of evil in the world, dude. Anyways, love it. I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed the Mythbusters. Myth... I can't say Mythbusters. <gasps> I did. All right, see you next week.